Today we are going with a topic called a solar passive space heating system. Can find out the first outer section. This is just a damper like connection. How you are doing it? Then a double glazing, outer control surface, and solar radiation. Solar radiation is not in our construction. This is a natural parameter. So construction part, if you consider, this is a rectangle box. Sorry, square box. Whatever you see. So that will act as a space heating construction area. And you can see one of the or marked area. It is in a with the black color it has been shown. So this is a thermal storage place. And you can observe here we have a two arrow mark which is representing inlet and outlet. So inlet, inlet is at the lowest portion and outlet at the topmost portion. So in between we have one of the material that is called as a thermal storage wall. And this is the space. Let us assume it as a living area of yours. So in this, how heat has been transmitted. And here we are talking about air, not or any liquid material. It is air. So you are going with the two different process of convection and the radiation. Due to this two action of your thermal activity, your cold air will become warm air and warm air becomes cold air. So depending on the criteria, are you going for heating purpose or if you're going for cooling purpose. But here our agenda is to heat the system. So taking the cold air and making to uh, increase the temperature of the air and getting the warm out of that. So that's what this case is. Solar space heating and small construction you can observe with the lower portion. And here also, after the black thermal uh, storage, normally block body will be used for observing most of the radiations. And we can show double glazing outside the system to protect it because they're all kept outdoor sometimes. Most of the cases outdoors, most of the times outdoor we are preferring because the radiation is one of the parameters. I cannot say to the indoor system, definitely it will be outdoor. In that cases, it is necessary to safeguard the look, safeguard the condition of movement. So you can see the circulating movement here from here. Arrow marks are going here and we are getting a warm air. And dapper is one of the connections you can see in the system. Observation, as we see, damper, double glazing, solar radiation, thermal storage wall. And remaining or which is not visible for us is convection and radiation system. Okay, so we'll see from point to point how exactly this start working. So see the south facing thick wall called throne wall is made up of concrete. So here in the construction, see if I make it compressed, so it look like a rectangular shape. If you enlarge it, it look like a uh, square kind of. So here in the system of like length, base, height. So in that consider, you are taking the facing of a system towards south. So south facing, because radiation concentration based on that, you are making a orientation of a wall. So that's what they say. The south facing thick wall, we call it as a throne wall, and that is made up of a concrete. Okay, and concrete, like a drop, stone, and composites of brick blocks and sand designed for thermal storage. Means whatever the wall you are making it, you are using the components where it have a more observing nature because that throne wall will act as a thermal storage. Uh, device or area you can say it as this black hole system is called as a throne wall and that does nothing but a thermal storage space for us next how to increase first of all you are using like concrete adobe stone composites bricks so many things you're using sand normally concrete means you'll have a brick sand composition is it so but still i need to improve because wall means see how much it is a transferable how much it can hold it so addition to that, you need to give something more to increase the efficiency of observation. So to increase the observation, the outer surface is painted black. Means whichever the place in the wall also, of course, you're having the faces, right? So in that the solar radiation heating area should be painted by black. So due to that black, we have, we know that there is a more observation quantity in the black color. It will increase the observation of a radiation. Then, the entire south wall is covered by one or two sheets of glass or plastic with some air gap between the wall and the inner glassing. So you can observe that also. I told you this is south wall and next to that we have a, a precaution or else you can say it as a something you are going to protect 
directly hitting the system or affecting the system in natural disaster case so your entire south wall is covered by one or two sheets of glass or plastic it is preferable choices depend upon the place where you are going to keep sensitivity area plastic or glass can be chosen and you cannot attach it you are maintaining a, some air ventilation space because you want to circulate the system means i need to have a small difference should be there so how much it is 10 to 15 cm of gap has been between between uh, place between the glass as well as a thick wall that's what say between the wall and the inner glazing inner glazing means this is the portion inner side and outer side then the solar radiation after penetration through the glazing is observed by the wall so thrombe wall is there means here first radiation will be taken up by this glass or a plastic then it is going to reach here thrombe wall is a thermal storage wall or you can call it as a thrombe wall then the air gap between the glazing and the wall this gets heated and rises up and enters the room through the upper vent while cool air from the room replaces it from the bottom vent means so radiations are hitting the dazzling that is gazel area then from there it will start hitting the thermal wall so now what is happening the air gap whatever is existing between the glazing and the wall is heated up so in between the space heat is developed and that heat rises and it enters the room through upper vent valve so you can see here so here what happens radiations are hitting and due to this gap between the thermal wall and the glass so more heat will be started producing in this small air gap and that is started circulating and reaches the top wall so so that what you are getting warm air started circulating and that air due to the process of convection see convection means circulating air reaching the warm air from there circulation is taking place so convection you are saying and some of the rays are moving out of the thermal wall directly so that is the radiation like your tawa as i said you are giving a fire and your uh, uh, cooking items are heated up oh, how it is radiation so similarly here throw uh, thrombe wall some of the rays are moving it up and some are through warm air so maximum warm air will be available and that produces a hot air and that is started circulating you can see this is the leaving area circulating and it would reach us the cold area part and again cold area is present at bottom itself so bottom again entry but here this is the dazzle place where you have a high temperature air circulating and what happens this cold air will convert to hot air now circulation of air continues till the walls goes on heating the air at same as your water heater until unless your complete air molecules which are present in that leaving area should get turned to a heated molecules till that the convection process and the radiation process will be circulating in that thus the thermal wall collects stores and transport the heat to the room means some are circulating from top wallet and taking the cold air and again making the heat that is one process another one through radiation directly from the wall it stores the heat and some of the heat will be given to the room and final agenda is to heat the molecules of air whichever is present in the living area so heating can be adjusted by controlling the air flow through the inlet and outlet vents by shutters shutters in the sense you can see this is the outer um, shape which has been given this is acting as a shutter and damping system so here you can have a control like water taps you are using it how much you want you will not rush into maximum always sometimes drop of water sometimes 10% 20% 30% you can increase you have availability similar way the which are present at the lower portion for cold air and higher portion for warm air can be changed or adjusted as per our requirement then here a collect some rock bed storage system is integrated with the apartment so this is another uh, system so earlier that is the process has been explained so here one more small uh, change with the rock bed storage system has been shown in the apartment you can see the picture first so you can see solar space heating with the rock bed storage construction makes the difference rock bed storage so here also same thing you can bed rock solar air heater is there slant one has been shown solar radiations are applying on both the cases so glazing is available living area is available see here instead of thermal like instead of concrete bed you are using rock bed storage so this dumping of rocks are making a difference from thermal wall to rock condition so that's what say 
rock bed storage system integrated with the apartment. So here you can see the movement of air, warm air, living space, then cold air, small outlet has been given here and connected to this rock bed. So from there again, it is converting the cold into hot and taking the warm air to the upper procedure. So we'll see here like storage purpose. Storage also, we don't, we just not want only in the morning session. Morning solar rays are there, heat is circulating and getting a warm heat that is fine. But how to do it for night? Same for question. Solar rays is available in the morning session, but what to do for night condition? So in that condition, this rock bed, any contribution is there? Is it going to give the output to during the night also? So that we have to discuss here. So during daytime when direct gain through the glass is sufficient, the hot air from the air heater is not allowed to enter the room. Okay, the available thermal energy is stored in the rock bed. This is looking to store in the rock bed to be used later, preferably during night. See, you have observed stones and all or rocks which are present outside. So morning, very heavy heat will be there. Definitely it will be there. After the truth, if you go it, leave that rock and all. Vehicles, if you are parking your vehicles outside, you are coming to college and leaving the bikes for almost 7 to 8 hours. Of course, when you are leaving the college, it is almost evening where sunlight is completely depressed and radiations are not so effective to heat the condition. But still, if you go and touch the bed, still you can feel the warmness. So warmness, that is a sheet. Is a plastic sheet or the sheets you are using on the bikes. So still, they give the heat reflection. Means you just think about a rock. And that is all rock bed you are bounding with the small 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 stones so that it will going to keep the energy and that can be preferredly used during night for natural cooling the first and best approach is to reduce the unnecessary thermal loading entering the building of course so natural cooling means see construction wise when you are constructing a house itself we have to plan how we have to do it how many ventilation or sir, ventilations are required means windows where should be the door, how much ventilation, how to plant the trees and all. See, we are planning it. Every time we cannot depend upon your fan. See, natural air is something better than the artificial because artificial, of course, based on necessity, we are going for it. Addition to that, we have to plan very well while constructing the system or making the arrangement. Yes, from where I can get the proper light, the proper air. So this has to be done. So that's what I'm saying. For natural cooling, first and best approach, First and best approach means we have to reduce the unnecessary thermal loading entering the building. Uh, somewhere people are getting a firing, some construction like kitchen. That's what I'm giving a best example, kitchen. Kitchen, if you consider a kitchen and a living area, living area temperature is cool as compared to the kitchen because we are thermal loading the system by uh, cooking a food or uh, doing some tawa work and all. So that is intentionally we are creating so the temperature rises. So in whole building also same thing, focusing on the surface or focusing on sunlight. So which area or glasses, mirrors, if you are using concentrators more, what happens or observer more, they will try to observe it. And painting under whatever you are using, you should be very confident which color will have less observant, like more reflection. So these kind of things you have to think before installing. Them. Okay. So they're given direct sunlight entering the building, which can be reduced by use of sun breakers or shading the windows, walls, or roofs. So like how trees are doing it, how they're providing the shades. So while constructing also, you can use windows. Definitely windows are in for a ventilating purpose, means circulating the air. Wall you construct. Means it should oppose the radiation receiving. Means it should be opposite to the system. And roofs, inclination and all, however you're doing it. That reduces. Normally, if you see any of the houses, Roof, they will leave a little bit front or you can call shed, car shed, bike shed. So these things you are constructing because that will try to reduce the heating or warmed air entering the houses. Then conduction of heat through building elements, which can be reduced by proper thermal insulation. Definitely it will be used. Then infiltration of outside warm air, which can be reduced by proper sealing. Sealing in a sense closing as we are doing it. Extra any other workshop is there, anything is going on. So that should not enter. So in that cases, we should be very planned to do, have a proper construction. Then the techniques generally used for passive cooling of the building. So heating, of course, we done very nicely just using a, a one observer, like a from wall or else a rock bed. You can heat it. But now cooling, cooling first to ventilators that are all fine. These are all construction based. Addition to that, if it is not enough to be 
say yes it is cooled building or temperature is less then we have to go for a passive element like using what on the system so shading constructing the roofs and all in a proper way ventilation ventilation in the sense your windows doors and all evaporation like uh, on the roof of a system if you are keeping water content and all so and our uh, exciter fans or you can call chimneys so where they will take off more of the heat then radiation radiation means this is through walls itself outside like let us assume you are having the number of plants outside your houses or balcony so they will try to receive more of the heat content so they have that absorbing capacity then the ground coupling and dehumidification dehumidification is a process so these are the things has to be considered for passive system shading ventilation evaporation radiation ground coupling and dehumidification okay so i think uh, you please note down this uh, second diagram that is your rock bed solar space heating with the rock bed storage so next we are going with the topic for cooling so cooling as i said you can go for shading ventilation so so many things are there so in that uh, what kind of passive system can be utilized for cooling purpose a scheme for solar passive cooling <laughs> ventilation so of many types <laughs> shading yes with the out of so many passive availability like shading ventilation evaporation radiation ground coupling and humidification so first we are going for a type through ventilation so just i'll enlarge the diagram we'll see what and all the components so it is almost same look like a heating only we'll see what changes has been done in the system so solar passive cooling through ventilation so ventilation means you are making the much space in the system and hope you can just identify what changes has been done of course it is looking like a rectangular or square structure fine but you can observe the outlets how they have created for heating purpose you have enclosed the dazzle here and you have created inlet and outlet at the one portion means receiving ending within the space you are not making anything to go out of the area just a molecular movement from cold to hot cold to hot that process has happened in the last cases but here you are saying cooling cooling in the sense you have to take off the heat content and you have to throw it out and you have to keep only the cold content in the system so from the figure it is very neatly given air ducted to outside solar radiation and glassing glassing is always there see here south wall of course wall we are constructing but there is not a thermal wall and next living area is available so cool outside air means you are given for ventilation this is also one of the ventilation portion where you are giving the access of outside air to enter the living area and let us assume you are using a fan continuously 24 hours it was completely heated up and you need to take it off so heat air so if we give the passage of movement of air warm air to get out and cold air to get in definitely your room temperature will be minimized so here outlet how we are designing that makes a very important role and circulation of air how you are keeping it on the down portion or up portion that is also plays a very important role so ventilation giving the changes in the molecule movement so first point is the scheme utilizes a solar chimney effect and is effectively effective where outside temperature are moderate so definitely everyone are aware of uh, chimneys how they are working it see if you are cooking something so if you rush like particularly a chapati and all if you are preparing so you're going to get so much of heat from the system and Hello. Chim- okay so here first case chimney effect so how how chim- chimney will try to take off all the heat content and throw it out so that what happens you will not feel the heatness surrounding your place so same effect has been considered in the cooling sub, uh, area and here one condition is that your outside temperature should be moderate enough to receive that hot area if there is outside also hot then it, again it will be mesh up and you will not feel the changes but still we assume this heat is more compared to the outside temperature and next solar radiation is allowed to heat up the air between the glassing and the interior south wall definitely when you say glassing is there and solar radiations are heating it is not like uh, you have to have always a collector so it is if you stand outside a sun for half half an hour it will be tanned and why if you ask somebody yes i was there for almost one hour outside so simple action it is going to happen on us 
Similarly, here also between glassing and this thermal wall. So definitely there will be a heat will be generated. And as we all know, that same process happen in heating also. Here, solar passive cooling through ventilator rises up, is ducted outside, and the warm air from the room is drawn into this space due to the natural drafts through proceeded. In the sense, here, cool air is available and it will take up the warm air at the down portion. So from here, there is a place where heating is happening. Again, between this glassing and south wall, heat will be happening. But you are not given the entrance to leaving area. Instead of that, you are taking out outside, air ducted. So through this natural ducts, you are removing the warm air out of the leaving area. So because of the reason, what happens? As a result, cool outside air enters the room from the bottom air vent on the other side of the room. Means in one side, you are removing the hot air and other space, it is available to get the cold air from the atmosphere or outside. So outside temperature is less as compared to the leaving area temperature. Then what happens? So your leaving area will be definitely cold as compared to the heat area which is accumulated in between these two glassing segments and the south wall. Means your major role, how you are keeping the outlet, how the space has been given, how you are removing the warm air. If you want warm air, if you want to heat the system, you are getting in in the living area. But if you want to remove it out, you are keeping one for cool air to get in and out air, like warm air to out of, get out of the 